Hi and welcome to another watercolor painting process video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I painted this postcard. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist from The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So today I'm going to be talking about how I painted this particular postcard. Uh, and um, uh, it didn't quite turn out how I expected. However, I don't know what I expected. Uh, I, it was a, it was another experiment on my part. I'm going to explain to you what I was intending, and then what happened. Um, so if you if you actually like the way this looks, then I, uh, you'll you'll find out how it happened. So let's get started. All right. So I've been uh, attempting many times uh, over the past few months trying to to capture. The whole notion of luminosity, right? Luminosity. I've been trying to do this thing. Um, one of the things that I uh, decided to experiment on with this time, this time around, I, I did want to do the luminosity thing again. However, this time around, I wanted to work with um, with key with uh, with value keys. And so the, the idea being that um, if you have a dark value key, it's it's and, and then you have a light value key, um, m meaning that that when, when your gray, when when your darkest dark is light gray, then your lightest lights would be at a higher value key. That was the idea, right? <clears throat> so one of the 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 the, the driving. Um, um, uh, theories that I was going with was okay. First, the first thing I wanted to do was make the background a really dark key, right? Like the the value of the of the background was going to be extremely dark, like almost black, and that was the darkest area in the picture. That's what it was going to be. Nothing will be as dark as the background. That way, the light areas were going to really pop. And then the shadows on her were going to be not nearly as dark. Um, another thing that I was doing was that the, the dark areas were going to be warm and the light areas were going to be cool. So those were the little rules I gave myself. Warm shadows, cool lights light light key on the figure dark key in the background so that was the goal that was the rule and i wanted to see what would happen if i tried to hold to those to the, to, to to those rules as i went and so i did like this is this is me darkening the darks without going as far as being completely black and then adding just the shadows and they were all I was trying to only use warms and then just I mean I just kept on trying to make the dark the background as dark as I could make it to just make the um, the 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 figure in in the foreground the, the 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 figure just pop just I wanted it to pop a little bit um, I think I and, and, and honestly I'm not a hundred percent sure why it didn't work I'm not I'm not sure it didn't do what I wanted it to do it doesn't really pop um, it's not awful it's not my intention though like it's just kind of kind of just there like it just doesn't quite it doesn't quite do it, right? It doesn't. It's not quite glowing. Like the lights are, are not quite glowing. I added, I added a little bit of light blue in the in the light, to try to just add a little bit of luminosity. I mean, like before in the other luminous drawings, the the keys were very, very, very high. Like I did do, I did manage to make like the warm, the shadows warm. And there's something about this one that it doesn't pop it doesn't pop so that that was that was it that was the experiment so it's not awful but it's not my intent and th this is what it turned out to be 
So that's that's what I did. This is that was the experiment. You saw you saw the whole process. You saw me just go in with the darks and then just go in there with the with the warms and um and uh and this is what the result was and I'm not 100% sure what happened. <laughs> but um hopefully this has been helpful. Um this this sort of thing for me is always helpful just to see uh what works, what doesn't work and 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 all that. So all right, so uh thanks a lot and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye. So I'm happy to announce that I now have a new drawing lesson called Drafu Guide to Sketching and Gesture Foundations. It's the beginning of the level two information that people have been asking me for for the drawing website, which will teach you where to start drawing, what to draw, what to draw when you draw, how to draw from observation, how to draw from imagination, how to draw what you envision, and how to discover what you ought to envision if you don't have anything specific in mind. So if you find any of this interesting, you could follow the link that you see, or you can go to thedrawingwebsite.com, look under level two, and you'll find the link there.